it is day two of my made up self-imposed crinkle rayon week and if you missed yesterday's video be sure to go check it out to learn more about the fabric that's inspired this series and see the first outfit that i made from the crinkle rayon a super cute bodysuit Today, I'm talking to you about the second of three garments I made from this awesome fabric. It's this skirt, Butterick 5892. The pattern is described as a loose-fitting lined skirt with elasticized waist, shaped hemline, and narrow hem. View C and D have elasticized tie-ins and a ruffle. This exact pattern is no longer available, but I did find a few dupes that are currently available. Butterick 6773, McCall's 7933, or Quick Sew 4061 will all give you a similar look to my skirt. If you know of any indie patterns that would work, uh, elasticated, gathered waist with a ruffled tier uh, that's kind of like high-low or asymmetrical, leave them in the comments section below and I will start adding them to the description box. This pattern is a super simple sew. The only thing that I did differently is I did not line the skirt at all. This fabric is very lightweight and very drapey, but completely opaque. Even mine that has like a white background, you still cannot see through at all, which is great. The only thing I would change about this particular skirt pattern is I would give it some beefier elastic at the waist. This one calls for just 3 8 inch wide elastic and it's just not super substantial. If I could do it again, I would increase the waist seam to at least 1 inch. As for the ruffle tier, this was the perfect way to execute my gathering shortcut of using my serger. I have a video tutorial on the settings you'll need for your machine and how it all works, but this pattern's ruffle tier is actually three pieces. I cut them all the width of the fabric, longer than the original pattern pieces, sewed their vertical seams together, one big like donut and then ran the whole thing through my serger on the gathering settings it created beautiful even gathers all the way around i truly cannot imagine making this skirt and doing this ruffle any other way but the three-piece ruffle does mean that the ruffles vertical seams never match up with the side seams for this reason, I would be really careful in the fabric that you choose. To make your life easy, be sure to use a print with an all-over design. This way, those vertical seams blend in with each other and aren't that noticeable. If you want to use a more sparse print or something directional like a stripe or a plaid, I would actually cut four ruffle pieces and place the seams at the center front and back and the side seams. The crinkle rayon really highlights the flow of this skirt's design. I mean, it is made for ruffles. When I walk and the wind catches the skirt, it's just a really special moment. It makes you feel so fabulous. <laughs> the ruffle is super twirly and just elevates an otherwise basic elastic waist skirt. I paired the skirt with a cropped knot front top to keep the proportions right for my body. This works to give the illusion of a smaller waist and a it, it kind of works like a fit and flare dress would. Uh, the top is a Wilfred free top that I got on clearance from Aritzia. My shoes are the same ones I had on yesterday. They are Michael Kors wedges that I got from a local consignment shop. And my earrings are from an online jewelry boutique called Lulu Dharma. They have awesome sales on their site, and they even have secret sales that they email you about that aren't on their website. Um, and you start getting those emails after you place your first order. These particular earrings are the gold large geo hoops, and I love them. 
and it's such a fun take on a standard round hoop. I have an affiliate link in the description box if you want to check out Lulu Dharma's jewelry for yourself. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. Be sure to check the description box for all the links you need to make this skirt. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!